Hello everyone, this is Jag. Well, in this video, I'm going to cover the truth about using cardboard and paper in garden. And lots of you have actually expressed concerns about using cardboard because it contains chemicals and also using paper, which is bleached. Bleached paper contains chlorine and dioxin. Dioxin is actually a known carcinogen. You've also expressed concerns about using ink, which contains chemicals and heavy metals. And all of your concerns are not invalid. Wait a minute. All of your concerns are valid. So let me go through all of these concerns, get to the bottom of this, and get to the truth. So let's get started. So if there is chemical in the cardboard, where is it actually located? Now there could be three different ways chemicals can be introduced into cardboard boxes. There's glue, there's ink, and insecticides. Now let's tackle the glue first. The cardboard itself is made from wood pulp, and the paper towel rolls and toilet paper rolls are also made from wood pulp. Now there's two different ways glue is used in the cardboard boxes. Number one is just to form the cardboard itself. And that glue is derived from starches, which is derived from carbohydrates that's found in rice, wheat, potatoes, and other tubers. So that is perfectly safe to use into your garden and that will decompose into your garden. The second one is to form the box itself, especially the heavy duty boxes. Now these boxes may have chemical glues on the seams of the boxes or the corner of the boxes to make the box more rigid and sturdy. Now these glues can contain chemicals, so refrain from using glues that are on the seams or edges of the cardboard. Now I do want to clarify, I don't have any loyalty to cardboard box manufacturers and paper manufacturers. I just want to get to the bottom of the truth and I want to make sure that all of these practices are safe for us gardeners to use. So this is what I'm talking about. All of this cardboard is made from natural glue that's derived from starches from plants. The glue used in paper towel rolls and toilet paper rolls is also derived from starches from plants. So these are okay to use in your garden. Now another thing you might find on cardboard boxes is staples on the seams as well. So refrain from using staples into your garden as well. Now the cardboard box may also contain lots of plastic tape and this plastic does not belong into your garden either because this plastic will take forever to decompose. Not only that, plastic tape also contains chemical glue. So never add any plastic tape into your garden. Now another thing you should not add into your garden is any cardboard with these labels. And most of these labels are weatherproof. They contain this protective coating that prevents them from getting damaged in the rain. And these coating on the labels may contain chemicals and plastics. Also, the glue on these labels is also chemical glue as well. And these labels will not decompose into your garden. If you do add them into your garden, you are going to find them a year or two later into your garden again. So never use cardboards that has labels on it or take the labels off before you use the cardboard into your garden. Now what about that ink? Doesn't the ink contain chemicals and heavy metals? Now there are two types of inks that are used on cardboard and paper. They're vegetable dyes and they're colored inks. But the vegetable dyes are perfectly safe to use into your garden and most of the ink that's black ink on cardboard or paper is made from vegetable dyes. However, if you do find colored ink or ink in glossy paper or glossy cardboard boxes, that ink may contain chemicals and heavy metals as well. So refrain from using colored ink and any ink that's on glossy paper or glossy cardboard box. And as discussed earlier, you should not be using glossy paper or glossy cardboard box into your garden anyway. So I do not use these kind of cardboard pieces in my garden that contain excessive colored ink and also that contain labels like this that contain plastic coating as well. So when I use cardboard in my garden, I make sure it does not contain excessive ink, especially colored ink. So brown cardboard is okay. I also remove any plastic tape from the cardboard box. I remove any staples that are on the cardboard box as well. And then I remove all the labels. I cut out the seams of the cardboard box and all I'm left with is brown cardboard. And this one is okay to use in the garden. Another concern is the use of insecticides in cardboard boxes as well. Now, fortunately, not very many cardboard boxes are sprayed or treated with insecticides. There are special type of cardboard boxes that have termite treatment or insecticide treatment, cardboard boxes that are going to be in weather a lot or in touch with the ground a lot. So mostly like 99% of the cardboard boxes that we encounter do not contain any insecticides. Now what about bleached paper? Is that okay to use? Now paper is made from wood pulp, which is brown in color. Now in order to turn the paper white, the paper is bleached with chlorine. 
Now, this process does introduce toxic chemicals into the paper, into white paper as well. It introduces chlorine and also introduce dioxin, which is carcinogenic. So if you are to use paper into your garden, make sure it's brown paper. Refrain from using bleached white paper in your garden. So it's okay to use this brown paper bag in your garden. However, you should not be using this white paper that's printed with colored ink in your garden. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this clears lots of questions and lots of doubts. If you do have more questions and you want to discuss further, comment below and I will be participating in the comments as well. And I'll see you in another video.